It's sweet being in the sweet 16. Now it's time to get down to business. Hello everyone, my name is Nathan. I am one half of your Heel Brothers and welcome into the preview and prediction show for the sweet 16 matchup between North Carolina and the Alabama Crimson Tide. Boy, this is a game in which is going to be interesting for North Carolina considering. So the way I look at this is... This could be a prelude to a potential matchup against UConn in the future if Carolina was to so get there. So Alabama's a big team. They got a lot of height and they got a lot of depth on that team. And they have got some uh, some great basketball players over there. And uh, Alabama was a team last year that was talked about heavily. They were a heavy favorite to win the NCAA tournament uh, last year with uh, Brandon Miller being their star guy, even though he's not there anymore. Uh, this team came into the season very highly ranked. I forget exactly what number that they were, but they were highly ranked based off of the, the previous season and kind of quickly fell out of the top 25. But throughout the season, they worked their way back in there and started to gain a lot of traction and really found their footing as a basketball club. And uh, This is going to be a dogfight for North Carolina. And uh, over there in Los Angeles, California at 9.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which I, I still don't understand that daggum start time, uh, North Carolina will be taking on the Alabama Crimson Tide. And this is a game here in which North Carolina is going to be extremely tested. Like I said, that height uh, that they have over there is pretty daggum good, and they've got some great guards. Uh, North Carolina opens up this game as a four-and-a-half point favorite. Now, that line has moved a little bit. They opened up, once again, as three-and-a-half favorites, just like they did against Michigan State uh, when this game was first uh, put together, and Alabama had won, and they started to put down the previews for that. Uh, Carolina was uh, only a three-and-a-half favorite. That line has moved just a little bit. Uh, Alabama was actually favored by the matchup predictor over 50%. Um, you know, on Carolina. And um, now, that you know, that's moved a little bit in more North Carolina's favor. Um, it's good to see a little bit of uh, trust being put back in the North Carolina Tar Heels, but that doesn't mean the matchup is going to be easier. That, that's to say the least. But stats leaders for the Alabama Crimson Time is Mark Spears, not the reporter, at 21 points per game, and their leading rebounder and their assist leader being Aaron Estrada with 5.4 rebounds per game and four assists per game. North Carolina stat leaders are always the same. With R.J. Davis coming in at averaging 21 points per game, Armando Baycott with 10 rebounds per game, and Elliot Kiddo with four assists per game. You look at the last five for both teams, the only losses that Alabama has, they have two out of their, their last five that they've lost, and those were losses to Florida. Uh, 105 to 87, which was a blowout. And the next one, same thing, 102 to 88. So you can kind of see a little bit of vulnerability there. Uh, in the tournament, they've beaten College of Charleston pretty handily. And then they also beat Grand Canyon pretty handily as well. North Carolina's only loss in their last five was in the ACC championship. And that was against NC State. Since then, a big blowout win over Wagner. And once again, another big blowout win against uh, Michigan State in the tournament. Alabama this season, all right, now this is where it gets interesting. North Carolina has always been the higher scoring team, right? Well, Alabama comes in second in the nation, scoring 90.7 points per game on 39 rebounds per game, 16 assists, and allowing 80 points. So a team that is really high scoring, but their defense has been somewhat suspect to a degree. As you're averaging 80 points, um, you know, that that's that, that you're, that's a lot of points being scored on you on a, on a consistent basis for it, at least to average out to that amount. So I'll be interested to see how North Carolina is able to tag that offensively. North Carolina comes in averaging 81.8 points per game on 40 rebounds per game, 14 assists, and only allowing 70 points a game. I'm not going to lie. I really don't know too much about Alabama at all. I honestly didn't think that they were going to be a factor, especially after the first few games of the season when they started to lose and were knocked out of the top 25. But I have to give them credit. You know, they they have made themselves into a team that is dangerous. And uh, this is going to be a heck of a matchup for North Carolina. And like I said in the opener in the beginning of this, this episode, if if North Carolina does really good against this team, this team can they they, they know how to score. They've got scores. Um, you know their their defense isn't as stout, but uh, still they're big, they're long, 
and they've got some size there. You know, Carolina is going to have to be really, really careful uh, each possession because each possession is going to matter against this team. I mean, it already does in March Madness, but it's really going to in this team because, you know, if you if you have, you know, a stretch of empty possessions, Alabama could probably go on a run and they can score on you consistently. And uh, it's going to be an interesting, interesting game for North Carolina. But, you know, I feel confident in Carolina. I feel like they're playing really good basketball after the Wagner game. You know, I thought the Wagner game was a really bad game for them, but then they come out against Michigan State and they took the early punch and punched right back and never stopped. I mean, they ended up beating the crap out of Michigan State there, which, you know, honestly surprised me. And that was something I was very curious about because I didn't know if North Carolina could, you know, sustain a punch like that, like they took for Michigan State, being down all the way up to 12 at some point and then being able to come back and win in the fashion that they did. So, um, you know, I like Carolina's chances tonight. Um, but you know, they've got to, this is not going to be an easy game. This is not going to be a cruise fest. Uh, it's going to be tough out there in Los Angeles, man. It's, it's going to be an interesting time. And, um, you know, hopefully the, the star and the shine of being in the crypto.com arena, formerly known as a Staples center. And that's, that's the way I always call it back Staples center. Um, but it, you know, hopefully that doesn't get to North Carolina. I don't think that it will. And, uh, you know, Alabama's kind of, in my opinion, kind of an underdog team. You know, I think they're going to come with that underdog energy, especially uh, defensively. So uh, North Carolina's defense is key to this game. You know, you cannot let them go out there and hit their average. That's 90 points. You cannot let them go out there and hit that average. So, you know, considering there's a 20-point difference in points per game that they score and points allowed with us, uh, I'm curious to see how North Carolina does defensively on that. If North Carolina can lock them down defensively and, you know, make a, a each offensive possession count, on the offensive end of the glass. Um, I think North Carolina can win this game, you know, by five, six, seven, eight points uh, against Alabama. So I'm going to predict one. You know, I, I, I have actually neglected to predict the an actual score since the since the regular season, I think the ACC tournament. So I'm going to take North Carolina in a relatively high-scoring game, uh, 84 to 78 that's going to be my spread there that's what i think and i think it's going to be a fun game for north carolina i think they're going to hold alabama pretty good pretty close and uh, carolina is going to going to go out there and i have a feeling we're going to have a big game from somebody i don't know who yet i ain't figured it out something's telling me maybe cormac has a big game tonight but um cormac rj you know armando you could you could be anybody maybe even harrison Ingham. who knows um you know i would like to see l.a Doug get up there maybe in double digit points you know as long as they're good shots and not taken away from anybody else but uh yeah it's gonna be a fun game i'm gonna be doing a lot uh, live watch party with you guys tonight it's gonna be a late one we're gonna be up but hey that's fine you know i'm gonna have some fun and you now we're gonna watch a sweet 16 and hopefully by the end of it we're talking elite eight against potentially Arizona. Oh, my God, man. The the matchups are friggin' ridiculous. This is amazing. But uh, anyway, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments about North Carolina's chances against Alabama tonight. And uh, if you like what you see and you've enjoyed this video, go to the YouTube channel, find some more. Maybe you'd like them. And if you like them, hey, hit the subscribe button. Come and hang out with us. Hit that like button on this video. And uh, we really appreciate you guys and everything that you do here. So anyway. Thank you all for watching, and thank you all for being here. Go Heels.